Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. My name is Andrew. I'm a group fitness instructor at Ohio State. Today I'll be taking you through a dynamic warm up, um, something you can do, you know, before a workout or uh, just any time at home if you are looking to get some movement into your body. So um, I'll demo these moves and then we'll uh, we'll get going. So this warm up is going to be about ten moves, going for either thirty five seconds or about a minute and ten, depending on the move. I'm going to demo. Uh, the move a little bit before we get into it, but we'll just be going back to back to back. No rest in between. Just take about six minutes um, and we'll get started. So the first move is going to be an alternating quad grab and we'll start here in three, two, one. So what we're doing here, grabbing onto the ankle or right at the bone of our foot, kicking our foot back into our hand and lifting up onto our grounded toe and lifting your opposite arm in the air. Again, we're here for 35 seconds. And then we're taking it to a hamstring scoop in three, two, one. So what we're doing here, hinging at the hips, one leg goes out in front of the other, scooping down towards the ground, doing this all along the back side of your legs. Making sure to hinge here as opposed to bend. And then taking it to leg kicks in three, two, one. So right here, kicking across our body towards our opposite hand, adding a little hop in between, adding a little hop in between each kick. And then taking it to knee hugs in three, two, one. And then you're pulling our knee right towards our midsection. Option to bounce up onto the toe of your grounded foot. And also add that hop in between again. And then taking it to a world's greatest stretch in five, three, two, one. So what we're doing here in a low lunge, bringing our front, the arm of the front leg down towards the ground, about 90 degrees, and then twisting towards that same side, and then changing feet. So if your right leg's in front, right arm's in the air, bring it down towards the ground, bend at the elbow, see how close you can get. And exhale as you twist up towards that same side. We're here for a minute. This is a move. Takes a bit longer. So let's get comfortable with it. For me, I like to inhale as I reach down towards the ground. Exhale as I twist open towards the top. We got about 10 seconds left here. And then we're going to be taken into a walkout, hands come overhead, hinging at the hips, walking out to a plank position, and then walking back. And we're here in three, two, one. So hands come overhead, slight bending your knees, hinging at the hips, buck goes to the back of the room, crawling your hands out to a plank position, hands underneath your uh, shoulders, straight line head to toe, option to shoot your hips back to a downward dog, maybe add a push up. And then walk your hands back. We're also in this move for a minute. So, get comfortable with it. If you're looking for a little less of a stretch and more of a challenge, you could stay low the whole time and just walk your hands out and back. So we've got, got about 20 seconds left here, maybe adding in that push-up. If you haven't yet, adding in a downward dog, any kind of challenge. And then taking it to a squat and reach in three, two, 
One, so we're doing here, sinking down into a nice low squat position, pinning your elbow against the inside of uh, your thigh and twisting to that side. In the squat, we got our chest up, shoulders rolled down and back, weights in our heels. And then in five, taking it to a reverse lunge and twist, twisting to that front side, and we're there in two, one. So you step back 90 degrees in both sides, twist to that front side, and come back up to standing. And then next move, we're going to go into open the gate. So just opening it up in two, one. So you want to angle yourself towards the opposite side that you're going to be moving to. Lift up your knee uh, so, it's, so your thigh is, uh, your hip is parallel with the ground. And then open up, which reminds me of my youth sports days. And then the last move we're going to do today, go into a torso twist in two, one. So here, pivoting that back foot each time we twist. Done in three, two, one. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for joining me. My name is Andrew. This is for OSU's Group Fitness On Demand. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to use this uh, whenever you would like. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you back on campus whenever that might be. And go Bucks.